Good afternoon and thank you very much for inviting me to this uh, very timely event on the role of SMEs in Europe's digital transformation. Now at the Commission a year ago we adopted a dedicated SME strategy and it was in a, in a clear recognition of the importance of our SMEs. SMEs provide goods and services across all regions in the European Union. They offer jobs and livelihoods to people in our societies. And also they are bringing innovative solutions and they are therefore key to Europe's digital and green transitions and they will help building up our resilience as European Union. Now it became quickly clear that the priorities of the SME strategy, so supporting the digitalization and or access to finance, even gained more importance in the crisis that COVID caused. Steps were taken by the uh, Commission immediately also to address these liquidity problems that, uh, was, that was already mentioned. For example, uh, we redirected 1 billion from the European Fund for Strategic Investments to incentivize banks to provide liquidity to businesses, to SMEs. But even beyond this short-term relief, the new SME strategy has also is striving to become the reference tool for support in the context of, you know what, in the strategy one year ago was still a, a, a twin transition, but which has become a triple transition, making SMEs more digital, more sustainable, and resilient. We started with implementing, you know, the, the over 30 actions that were announced in the strategy. And, uh, you know, by giving, providing sustainability advice, reinforcing digital capacity, supporting member states in fighting late payments. Digitalization of SMEs is therefore one of the most important and most uh, crucial policy objectives. And I would like to give you a few examples what we, how we try to support the digitalization of SMEs. The access points for many SMEs to digitalize, also for tr more traditional SMEs, will be the local European digital innovation hub, because these hubs know the local context, these hubs speak the same language. And they are in a situation I expected to provide advice and to build up capacities to make the transition happen for SMEs. They can lead you know, individual companies to a very specialized testing and experimentation facility, which might in some cases be necessary. Uh, the Commission is also putting in place a digital volunteers program through which digital experts can share the knowledge with SME employees. And there, there is, for example, cooperation between experts in large companies that get together with people in SMEs and, and, and help them in, in you know, a, a kind of a trans, uh, tech, uh, technological transfer, tech transfer in the digital fields. The EU Startup Nation Standard will share and adopt best policy practices for the growth of European startups in each stage of their development. And it was also mentioned, you know, we also have to work on the digitalization of public services because also the crisis has, has uh, shown how important it is that public services remain accessible for companies, for citizens, but in particular also for SMEs. And the launch of the Single Digital Gateway, which is based on our Your Europe portal in last December, was therefore also an, a step to provide SMEs with a single and easy access points for information about the single market rights, for advice from assistance services to help to, uh, solve problems, but also in the second step that will come uh, to have electronic procedure available. And so really make, uh, make the digitalization of public services uh, happen and also reduce in this way administrative burdens. Of course, when looking at the future recovery that we are all working for, we must also talk about the EU's recovery plan, you know, our, our uh, long-term budget, but in particular, of course, the next generation EU uh, program with the resilience and uh, um, uh, recovery and resilience facility, which is actually the largest stimulus package ever financed through the EU budget. And we, of course, pushing member states very hard to strongly target also SMEs in their national reform plans and use these funds to address the, the priorities of SMEs. And we also count there, for example, on the SME Envoy network in, in, in helping us. But we also count, of course, in the stakeholders and also in the members of the European Parliament to push there, push member states to set the right priorities. Um, we are so currently we have received many of the of the proposed national recovery plans and we're looking very closely to ensure 
And that SME needs are also well considered in these plans. Uh, um, Mr. Stefan has mentioned already the digital decade communication, which sets out ambitious targets for businesses, including SMEs, to become more digital by 2030. And uh, there, our, the successful transformation of businesses will depend very much on their ability to adopt new digital technologies rapidly. Also here, we want to support, you know, there are possibilities under the single market program, Horizon Europe, the Digital Europe program, and the cohesion programs in combination with the resilience and recovery funds to help, you know, deploy and use general digital capacities, capabilities, capacities by businesses to include industrial data spaces, high performance, performance computing, uh, computing power, and also artificial intelligence. Also SMEs, you know, have a lot to contribute in this area. And we will also look to find specific support looking at the individual industrial ecosystems and to look at the needs in, an, in a specific ecosystems, how we can help there. For example, also through the Horizon Europe partnership. So the strategy, the SME strategy will remain our compass for the SME policy, all in the field of, the, uh, of digitalization. But it's very clear the SMEs need our support here. We need to apply the strategy flexible and it, it is adaptable to help them really to, to change the situation of SMEs on the ground. Also, we will look at it when we look at the update of the industrial strategy, which is scheduled for later in this month to be adopted by the Commission. So when we, you know, when we look at SMEs facing these unprecedented challenges today, uh, I count very much on all of us, on the stakeholders, on the political uh, uh, decision makers to, uh, to, to act to, together, to face uh, the challenges together and to help SMEs to achieve what we want to, a swift recovery from the crisis with, for the, with SMEs at the heart of the process. Thank you very much.